jingim ke dei ke jingya lanti ka bangi ha ban ya chakhmat am ban kirtyang din mat phai sha kita ki jingye ki bangi ya kendu hanrei ni dei ban ya chakhmat bat kenjo ya kata ka thong ka bangi ngi don ong uba given haba samik sarnat sha ki samla puli jong ka shillong college hanik sngi ka shillong college kalapan long ya ka jing pen ko boram sha ki samla puli jong ka college ki bala pendep ya ka degree ha ki subject ba pher ba pher na ka ni ka college Apart from the other members, non-official members, now we also have a number from the medical fraternity which is 
is a doctor. And this doctor was serving earlier in the oil. Through the day, one candidate after the candidate had come and interviewed. And in the mid afternoon, one young boy came in, and when he came in, he spoke to the doctor, and I realized that he knew the doctor. And before we could interview with him, this doctor narrated and she whispered to us. She said, when I was there in Big Boy, in the hospital, we had recruited four young boys to work as uh, on a casual pay of probably that time it would be 5,000, 6,000 rupees. Four of them were recruited and he was one of them. Out of the four, this boy was the only one who came on time. He was the only one who would go back to the doctor after his work and say, Madam, can I leave? He is the only one who tells the doctor during holidays, Ma'am, do you need me tomorrow? Not the other three. And this medical doctor to us, I've never seen a more sincere boy than this. I'm just citing to you a very, very simple example. There and then, without asking a single question from him, we all unanimously decided that this was the right person for the right job. This is how sincerity pays. This boy never imagined that one day this doctor will be in an interview board. Neither did this doctor know that this boy will be coming to interview because she had been transferred out by that time. So this is a small thing which this boy got back because of his sincerity. Dream. Your ambition starts with dreaming big. But it will remain a dream till the time that you decide to make it real, my dear child. Always have the confidence to be able to achieve your dreams. Stop saying I wish. Keep on saying I will. And you will do it. Be consistent in whatever you decide to do in your life. It can be academics, it can be music, it can be dancing, it can be sports, it can be anything. But be consistent. It's not like today I want to do singing, after six months, no, I'll go for running. Another six months, no, I'll want to be something else. You know, be consistent in whatever you decide and you will be able to achieve. Consistency is better than perfection. Why? Because being perfect is not possible. We are all human beings. But it is possible to be consistent with your life and with your desire and your ambition. You only see progress by being consistent even when things don't work out. The third thing I want to share with you is my deepest gratitude towards Almighty God for having given us this day for all of us to meet upon. I would also like to thank Madam Principal and also all the faculty members for having invited me as a chief guest to this function and it's also a privilege to hear and to be informed that this is the first graduation ceremony being conducted by this prestigious institution since the inception of its college right from the year 1956. Yes, as rightly been said by our dear principal, many, many years have gone since the inception of this college. We can't move forward without recalling the contributions of all the past and present principals, the members of the governing body, the teaching and non-teaching staff, and all the people who have been involved in making this institution what it is today. I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate you as Shalom College for the achievement of an A plus grade in its last assessment by NAC. And this clearly indicates the hard work, the dedication, the effort of the entire Shillong College team. Therefore, I would like to take this opportunity to wish you as a college all the very best for your future endeavors. 
Now coming to this graduation day ceremony, I still recall 12 years back when I graduated from St. Anthony's College. We didn't have a ceremony like this. And today wearing this gown, I feel like I graduated from Shillong College. So therefore, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate each and every student who has graduated today. In fact, you are the luckiest batch to be the first batch to be conferred with this graduation ceremony. And at the same time, I would also like to give my special appreciation to all the rank holders of this prestigious institution. I am very confident that this will really be a memorable day in your entire life. Yes, this degree that we have obtained today, I can assure you that it's not just a simple, simple piece of paper, but it is a testament to the hard work that you have put in in all these three years. And I'm very sure that when you move out of this campus today, you'll be missing the atmosphere, the wonderful atmosphere of this college. But we should also understand that life is a journey where we need to proceed on. As rightly been said by the guests of honor, graduation is not the end of this tough battle, but in fact, it's the beginning of a beautiful one. So therefore, I would like to congratulate each and every student who has graduated today. This will really be a memorable day in your life. And as we proceed in life, we can't deny the fact that life is a journey. It won't always be easy going. There will always be ups and downs. We will always have to face challenges and also encounter various challenges in life. But what is most important is to have faith in God and ask for His wisdom and guidance that He may need the part. Yes, coming to the main subject of our youths, we do understand that youths are our greatest strength, our greatest advantage, but at the same time, our greatest challenge. Knowing the fact that youths consist of a major proportion of the state's population, we have around 72% of the state's population consisting of youths. And when we say youths, youth consists to all individuals below the age of 25 years. Therefore, as a state, it is very, very hard. At the same time, it's also the biggest challenge. Therefore, as a state, we do understand that we ensure a bright future for our beloved state in Hali. We need to drive for the channelized youths in the right direction in order to ensure that they will become a constructive force. Otherwise, they might become destructive. And you should also understand that this force has a direct impact on the future of our beloved state. Yes, in today's world, we can't deny the fact that competition is very, very high, be it in terms of admission to educational institutions, be it in terms of participating in various sports activities, and especially in, the, in times of employing into various sectors of the government. The white collar jobs are very limited in scope. Therefore, I would like to urge you as youths 
to look beyond the scope of white collar jobs. Yes, as a government, we have initiated various programs like the CMLFA programs and so on and so forth, aimed at ensuring that our youth gets employed and most importantly gets engaged. But we can't deny the fact that as a society, we could see the people of our society are very, very reluctant to take risks. But you should also understand that's all, that there's also a reward to taking risks. Some of our people are scared of starting new ventures, thinking that they might fail in their plans. But I would like to assure you, and it is also a saying, that failure is a pillar of success. As human beings, we are bound to make mistakes. But in making mistakes, it makes us more experienced, it makes us more wiser. And we also know that most successful people are the people who have committed many mistakes in life. Therefore, I would like to encourage each and every one of you present here today who will be graduating from this college to have full determination of your passion and to be persistent, to be disciplined and most importantly to be humble to ensure that you achieve your goals in life. And these in fact are the important values even in our day-to-day -day lives. Yes, we can't deny the fact that in this transition period, in adopting this new education policy, we can't deny the fact that it's a great challenge not only for the government but also for all the educational institutions. But as I usually say, there are five pillars of education. Great vision and framing of policies by public representatives. Proper implementation of these policies by government officials and bureaucrats. Dedication and hard work of the teaching, non-teaching and also all the governing body and the managing committees of various educational institutions. Sincerity of parents and most importantly the interest of students. These are the five pillars where we need to work hand in hand to ensure that whatever challenges there before us, we will be able to overcome through working together.